Hello everyone, welcome back to Trip Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game The Infected, and we are now in Season 3 and Episode 31. Well, we really kind of need to keep going looking for tech, but we're going to take a slight pause. This episode, uh, we're going to see if we can build a few extra bits and pieces for, you know, it's actually the town hall, but it's kind of like our kitchen, really. So, we're going to see if we can make the stove, the sink, and the fridge. Um, we've got par um, points for it, uh, tech points. So, I'll learn the fridge. We've got three, so one for the fridge. There's one for the lamp. We're going to miss that one. We're going to go to the stove. And then down the bottom here, we're going to learn the sink and leave the gas technology alone. So, later on, when we go around a few more towns, hopefully we pick up the last two tech pages and we'll, we'll learn them then. But for this episode, we're going to see if we can... Uh, get some gear going in here because I did notice I made all the clay bowls and then I went to make the onion soup and then realized yeah I need the stove so probably is a good idea to have that fixed I was going to look at putting this out a little bit further um, I'm thinking which way do I I, sh I probably use it from this angle more so if I square that up I don't kind of want to interrupt the walkway but if I just put it say here it's kind of not quite in the way of the walkway. I can still walk all the way through, and I can walk around the back. Plenty of space to get stuff. Yeah, okay, good. Now, let me see. Uh, every other time we've done this, we've put down... Placed others... Um, 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 workbenches? No. No. Would they call that the kitchen? Probably the kitchen. Um the metal stove. Okay, so don't put it backwards Trev, it should go this away. I'm just thinking, uh, I used to have the sink and then the stove, right? And there's kind of a reason why you might want to do two stoves too. Hang on, before we do that, let's do that again, except we've got to do the water thing as well. So kitchen, let's do the sink first and turn it the right way around. So if we put it right up on the edge of the door frame, say about there, hang on, about there, we should have enough room hopefully to put two stoves. Furniture, kitchen, stove one with its chimney facing outside, which you can't really see anyway, but kind of looks impressive. Uh, maybe... Oh, there's going to be plenty of room for them, actually. And we'll put a second one just here. That didn't even close... <laughs> didn't even remotely line up, Trev. You know, you're getting kind of finicky about this kind of stuff, you know that. My OCD and stuff, you know? Uh, I'm going to use it all the time. I just want it to sit right. I don't know what happened there. Did it move? Or I don't know. Oh, wow. It does kind of move. Hang on. They look correct. I can move it later anyway, I suppose. Anyway. Alright. So, it will look a bit like that. Walk around here. Get to the water. You know, do all the the water stuff here and then other cooking on this one maybe that's got the pots and that's got the saucepans or something that's co what was that was he just drinking he must have been drinking there's no alcohol in here is there no he should be fine then <laughs> all right so the space here actually um could easily put a couple of fridges against this wall too could put them over there as well i suppose but might be extra storage, maybe? I don't know. So we can fill this in. We've got enough space in here to have, what, 4x4, four four, 16 chests? At the moment we've only got 7, so there's plenty of scope here to expand, which is really good. Now, the sink's not going to work unless the water thingamies built. Now, let's have a look. The water house, where can I put it? I was thinking ages ago that maybe down here somewhere, next to this little shed. It just has to be out of the way, so... Uh, place, is it others? Yeah, it is. So the water house kind of looks like that one there, actually, doesn't it? 
there's the door there's the door there now if I put this beside this one it's a bit freaky but it kind of looks like the same thing doesn't it if I did that there's enough room to get to the clay extractors what's that look like from the back and everything oh there's a bit of room there yeah I, th I was hoping I could put a third clay extractor there but I was getting them from the top level up there yeah I think that's enough room no, now it comes to, um, goodness me, got to get all the parts, Trevor, got to get all the parts. Alright, we need 12 logs. Should really do the... Should I bother? Ah, oh, it's only a short distance. Hang on. Four trips with the logs, not a, not a big deal. How many planks did I say? 25? 25 planks. Hmm, we'll do it with this run here, hang on. So that's going to be 20 in one pile. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we take 1, 2, 3. Now, I'm not even sure what I'm doing up here at the moment, whether that should be a covered thing or not. There you go, all the planks as well. 10 aluminium, 8 electrical. I've got to show you guys a few things too. So when I finish the water house... Uh, 3... Yeah, I did do a lot of grinding off camera, yeah, quite a lot. So I don't even know if you realise that there was a second clay extractor already. Then I put down these two here. These are the um, fetch everything you can type mineral extractors. So I'm getting iron ore out of these a fair bit. So, you know, while I'm not doing anything and the oil pump is feeding everything, I might as well get it for free if you know what I mean. I mean, that is after you've built the structure. So this has just given me free extra bits and pieces, including the iron. Alright, so to get this up and running, 10 aluminium and 8 electrical parts. I think I've got 10 aluminium. There you go. And 8 electrical parts. Hmm. I did make some recently. Oh yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, let's just take the chunk. It'll do its job, don't worry. She'll be fine. Uh, by the way, I have been through one... Oops, what are you going to call this, uh, water house? Oh, guess what? That's right, it needs power, Trev. Uh, 100. 100! Hang on. Oh, look, there's a power source right there with a... Oh, man. Did I actually label that? That's the oil pump. Hmm... Hmm, <laughs> what the? Power, again, uh, make another junction box. Is that? Oh, that's my extra blizzard coming in, by the way. Yes, I know, I'm sorry, dude, I shouldn't be fiddling with this when you're cold. See, his temperature's already dropped. Oh, maybe I can just put it next to it, just put it next to it. There you go. I'll, I'll fill that in once the blizzard's finished, right, people? <laughs> Jeez. I always feel like I need to close the door, but like John says, it doesn't make any difference, but kind of, it's part of the game, John. I'm trying to make it look realistic, you know. <laughs> Makes no difference. Oh, there you go. Look, 23 degrees. How much coal's in here? Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, close that door. See, minus 26. Look, see, it makes all the difference in the world. Not really, but... Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, putting the electrical stuff away. Okay, um, oh, I do need to show you something at the risk of being close to the weather again. Is it minus 26 up here? There you go, 23 there. See that? Minus 26.7, and then 23, okay. Um, I made more batteries, so I'm at 14 batteries. Uh, I'm up to 20 solar panels, 27 wind turbines, and these will be ramping up still. So, yeah, it'll go for a while yet. Um... So hang on, what's the time? It is 6.13 in the morning. Solar panels are only just starting to come on, and yet it the wind turbines, because the wind is going so fast, I suppose. Look at that. It's almost generating a thousand, or about a thousand power. Um, or well, over a thousand power, actually, the wind turbines alone. So I think we've got enough capacity and enough battery storage sort of thing to... Uh, add the 100 that's needed for the the water house. So these are all full, and then I started to make these. 
I think I was just lacking aluminium, so there's four for there, four for there, four for there. So I'll make another one of these. Later on when we get the battery tech, we might change all this around yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Um, I really do need to go hunting uh, for a little bit more... Um, just don't mind me going out in the blizzard, but... There you go. I'll do that. Uh, let's get a bit of... I just feel so much better having the door closed when it's freezing cold, apparently. Uh, yeah, in there, start that up. Grab some of the dirty water, cook her up. <laughs> like you say, um, John was saying in the comments too, it's like you don't have to keep doing this once you've got the water house set up and the sinks are working. I absolutely love the sinks because you can put a few of them around. So one's over there in the townhouse. I'd like to have... If I if I overkilled, I would like to have one here at this end, one at that end, and then one up top kind of thing, or a couple more up top. Just so that you can easily get to water and, you know... I, I think you need it when you're cooking stuff, obviously, but it's just so much easier whenever you find out that you're thirsty, you don't have too far to go to get, get water sort of thing. Is that ready yet? It is ready yet. Okay. Gee, it just feels like that blizzard's taken a while. Um, okay, so what what did we need just to get the control box? It was... or the junction box, sorry. It's two ingots, two copper, two cobalt and then six screws okay we can do that so two three four five six I said nails didn't I was that nails or screws I think I'd remember by now now it was screws man that's gonna look so easy could have almost halved that and taken one off Trev Six of them, and what did I say? Look at the look at the ingots. I think I stored some in here too because I ran out of space. There you go. Two of those. Two cobalt. Two copper. Oh, that's good timing. The blizzard's finished. Oh, by the way, I did have a second one of these going. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, what else did I do around here? Nothing much, I think. Oh, so we should be able to place. Uh, so this one here is called oil pump. This could should be called uh, what do we call it? Water water house. Water house. All right. Uh, what have I got on me at the moment? I have got the pickaxe. Okay. Let's go grab the upgrade tool and some wires. Not that, whoops, not that we really need many wires. We'll grab that, whoops, just here. We'll swap out, and I've got to remember that I've swapped it out. Although, hang on, the stove, oh, the fridge over there will need wiring too. I have to build another junction box and stuff over there. Alright, so, from here, whoops, make sure we get out this first. We need to pull a wire from there down to this junction box and then from that junction box over to there. See the green wire at the back? Apparently I can reach that far. Clever, aren't I? Alright. So, 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 so. I need to turn the water house on. So my power out at the moment is 350 because the stone grinders have stopped. So that should jump. The power out should jump from 350 to 450. There you go, and now our water house is working. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. What's that? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of... Could go back a bit further against the wall, maybe, but still works. And, like, both of these are just set here and forget. Same with the oil pump, it's just in the background. Not really doing a great deal else. Alright. Um, let's just throw a few of these in here, keep these going. Holy smokers, there's a lot of iron. I have to get the iron out of there soon. Um, I was keeping and manufacturing some of the sand. Uh, I'm going to hatch the sand on both of these. I don't need that much. Um, I did make a fair bit of glass. So we're almost full now, a full chest of glass. So there's about almost, what, 200? 200 glass. So I've been, you know, 
working away at that, but I've been storing a bit of sand too, so we can add more boxes to that and increase the height of that, I suppose. Um, and then the extra boxes over here are really meant for holding more ingots and, and whatnot, and over here it's meant to be holding the cement. We haven't done these guys yet either, but that'll come. Uh, how much went into here? Uh, let's take out a half of this box. I have been, it's pretty handy having this here. I've been using it for the overflow for these rocks for quite a while. Okay, a few more in there. Actually, I can probably use another another one of these. I'll throw these back in here. Keep that going. going. I'm going to take all that out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, the catch here is, uh, I'm almost, um, chockers, uh, with iron ingots, but I'm about to use up quite a lot. So how about we take our, uh, we'll probably use the wire a little bit later, so I'll just throw it back in there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the pickaxe just yet. I'm going to go grab something to eat. Hey, Mike, how you going? Uh, yeah, grab something to eat. I'll have that and that. Get my protein back up. I love being able to do this, and don't have. I'm not stressed over trying to get animals or anything like that now because um, everything's good and dandy, I suppose. Let's take a couple of pieces of food. That's what I love. If I take too much over here, like this, will go close to filling these guys up. Uh, I did cull the male um, chicken, and then a chick developed and it's male again. <laughs> anyway, it becomes mature, and then you get some free chicken meat, I suppose. Um, let's just take a little bit out of here. Now, this is why I want to get onto the fridge stuff, because I've kind of been neglecting this a little bit, and some of this food's just been going off. It's going to go off in here, too, if I'm not careful, but... Oh, well. At least it's out of the way, I suppose. Alright, so we should be able to make ourselves a sink. Um, assuming we've got enough gear. Ten planks. Two copper ingots. Ten planks. Hang on. We need to get this going again. Sorry, Mike. Uh, he he'll be back. Um, oh, it needs firewood. Oh, yeah, yeah, 50 iron ingots just, just to get that running. Uh, okay, there's the planks. So I need two copper ingots and ten nails. Are oh, you kidding me? Almost. Two copper ingots. There you go. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but I did notice they've changed that around a little bit now, so that when you put stuff on and off the shelves, it comes from the bottom, not the top. I always found myself trying to reorganise that, because it just didn't feel right. How are these guys going? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I did go and pick up some extra shale oil, and all of the oil um sorry, all of the mineral extractors over in the desert biome, the four of them that are over there, there's four, um, I put one piece of oil shale in every single slot, so um, that's what John had mentioned. I think he was saying recently that he also got it from someone else who so can't take all the credit, but I'm giving him all the credit because he put it on my channel. Um, <laughs> but thank you very much because we shouldn't have to deal with stone anymore. That's the whole point. And I guess, you know, this is all filled, the whole chest is filled with um, oil shale, but only these first few, as they start to get to 25 stacks, will fill up. And then I guess you just take out a 25 stack and just take one off and put it back in the slot and off you go again. I gather that's how it works, but um, very appreciative of that. That's going to help me down the track a fair bit. I think I was very close to making this. Oh, that's right, aluminium. I had I had enough aluminium to make one of these, and then I ended up taking it onto the roof and making more power, which isn't a big deal. This this kind of stuff will ramp up a lot once I get enough power that I know I've got enough to supply the water house and 
stone grinders and cement mixers and all that kind of stuff. See, it, it eventually ha does happen, but just takes a bit of time. Where are we up to with these guys? See, there's a bit of aluminium coming out of here. How full am I? I'll do four, come back to the other two. Because how close are we at getting some more aluminium? Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, you're yeah, not too far away, are we? And I was cooking up cobalt and... There's one in there. Uh, cobalt and copper, because I was just getting so much of the stuff and I was trying to find somewhere to put it. Uh, there's a few cobalt in there that probably shouldn't be in there. What do we get done here? There's 10. There's 20. So instead of putting these on the shelf, I'm going to take these around here and start. So that just needs the four aluminium. 20 in there. We need five wooden screws. Let's just take a chunk of screws. Like 50. And we'll get this filled in. There's 10 in that one. 10 in that one. Uh, eight firewood for each. Eight firewood. Actually, eight firewood's quite a quite a bit, isn't it? I mean, I could just take it from there, but I'm not. Uh, has he got excess logs in here still? Hang on. Right, I've got those all filled up. Let me just. I might as well just do this in here. It's a bit crammed, but. Uh, It'll go a bit nuts as I do this, but you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight firewood. The one at the back. One, two, three, four. So half of the next one. Man, we still need another, um, cut up another log yet. Well, you know what? We've got plenty of sticks. Uh, sorry, Mike. Oh, he's gonna f he's gonna fill that pretty easily. Don't have to worry too much about that. All right, let's harvest this. So one, two, three, four. Might as well just pick up everything. So there's the four for there. Now, where did we store all our sticks? I think we took them up here to the top. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, we do need... How are we going with the stone grinders? 36... H that... H that... Holy dooly, did I pick up 138? I just saw it as I was clicking on it. Oh my goodness. Well, well. I could just put it in a chest, but I'm going over here to use them anyway. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of ingots. There's ten. Oh, now I can move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, how many have we got here? One hundred and thirty eight, so there's three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just trying to make sure I'm picking up the entire fives, not something else. Okay, so we should get thirty ingots out of there, which means we should have enough to the, make the two stoves. I think. We didn't even touch anything that's in there. That's the beauty of the stone grinders. Oh my goodness, they're fantastic. Alright, let me just grab a few stones from in here. We'll fill these up. This is why I kept thinking, ah, oh, the most expensive part about the mineral extractors is uh, the ingots. You know, timber, nails and stuff. Well, nails is ingots, really. Um, but yeah, trying to get enough ingots going, it really ramps up once you start getting a couple of stone grinders running. Yeah, I don't know, maybe you could you could possibly use three. Uh, Alright, let's grab a few more out of here. So they should all be cleaned up. So our next job... Have a look. Is to make some more. So I got 23 in there. I was going to say I think I 
used a fair bit of stuff out of here and use that. So let's just yank out 23, whoops, and we'll put 3 back. We can instantly put, this one's empty, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you go. Another 10 aluminium being cooked up. Wow, that didn't take long. So we'll be able to get a few things going out of here. We'll go with the 20 and we'll come back for the other 10. So, uh, we should be able to finish that. The other thing too is we've got to make some saucepans and pots and stuff yet. What were we waiting on here? Oh, the aluminium. Okay. So we just need another 10 iron ingots, 4 aluminium, and then that part's up and running. I love the fact that you don't really have to do any plumbing. That just looks weird. No, oh, it's not out by that much, Trev. Just, uh, you know, it looks okay. Don't worry, Trev, it looks fine. Alright, I'm going to grab myself a drink of water. And we'll throw one of these back in here. As you can see, by the way, uh, 341 oil cans, a couple of hundred biofuel. Just go and throw these in the clay extractor. I, I don't think it needs much. I think it might be lucky if it's down to three quarters. No, oh, no, it's gone through a bit. One for you. I might waste one doing this, but I'll, I'll do it. Keep that going. There you go, two at a time. Take all the clay soil out, take all the clay soil out, it's so quick. You just, you know, run round here, straight to here, drop one of those in, make all the clay. Have a look at that, we're already at a full chest again, so... How good is that? And we renamed this one clay as well, I suppose. There you go. And the excess clay soil, I've just been dropping it in there, but when it gets up pretty high, then go and make some more clay out of it, so, yeah. All works pretty well, I think. Uh, how many we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we should be able to make... two more biofuel, so we can throw that in there. Cool. See, that was so quick for him to fill these. Oh my goodness, there's one of each of these up in the in the building at the top level there, so... No, he's still going. He's still going. Thanks, Mike. Alright, let's see if we can get the extra iron and aluminium. So we'll take that, and we'll take that, and that should be enough to do the town hall. Well... For this, anyway. There you go. We've got to make these saucepans and stuff. But, yeah, there you go. So I could drink water, and now I can just slurp down some fresh, cold... Fresh flask. Yeah, it's called clean water. Ah, oh, man. Where are you? Come on. Show your face. Here they come. You going to throw something at me? Come on. No, he's going to go straight on there. Okay, good. Good lads. Sometimes I do hit them, and they smack the spike in front. Do you give me a steel alloy? Good on you, Mike! Look at that. What a job. He's on the job. Alright. Put this... Yeah, that's the thing. They do give you some interesting loot from time to time. Uh, where did I see it before? There's, there's a steel alloy just there. Hmm... While I'm waiting throw those in there, I guess. Uh, oh, one of my batteries. Hang on. These are aluminium. Hang on. If I go to make... Where is it exactly? It would be under food, wouldn't it? The saucepans and stuff? Or not? That's not a saucepan, Triv. Eh. There they are. Iron ingots. So it's two iron ingots and then three iron ingots. So, okay. So if we had ten, we could make a couple of each. And that'd be a starting point, I suppose. Alright. Uh, I'll get back to that in a sec. I'm just thinking, I had some aluminium left on me. Uh, 
we haven't got blueprints for any more solar panels yet, but we have for these guys. Oh well, we're still one short. Oh, we'll put them in there. There you go. Not far away from getting another wind turbine up. Yeah, see, there's over a thousand power spare at the moment, so I... Well, this is because it's happening during the day. So 20 by 40 is 800, right? So there's 800 power coming from the solar panels at the moment. Yeah, but see, the wind's up pretty high, so yeah, nah. Yeah, almost... It's probably more than a thousand from the wind turbines then. Yeah, they're doing pretty well. And we'll gradually fit some more batteries in, and we just got—I just need to keep ramping that up as time goes on, I suppose. Uh, is that more? Well, that's more aluminium. Oh. Um, hang on. I might as well. I've got one on me. Let's just go up. Sorry, guys. Don't want to make it look like you're drunk. Let's just fit this last one out. There you go. There's another one. It all helps. You know, that's another 40 power. When the wind turbines are, are full on, I guess. So, what have we got in here again? H that, take that so we can carry it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many have we got over here? Oh, yeah, we can take that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, that's the two steel I was doing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so when that cooks up, uh, we should be able to easily make our pot, at least a, half of the pots and pans, I think. Which is a good thing. So we'll just keep these running. And I normally do, I'll show you, I normally just go upstairs here now and just lean over the edge normally when I'm on top and just pick up some surplus stuff oops, I'll go down through here and if I, if I go and have a look now and again I'm just getting some extra you know, I wouldn't be doing it I wouldn't be using the materials to make the mineral extractors to do that if I didn't have some other um, benefit from it like, or, or there was something else that I needed to do it would be kind of a bit of a waste I guess, but yeah Anyway, we'll make our pots and our pans, so where do we make our pots and our pans? Uh, just, just on the workbench? Oh yeah, just on the workbench. Okay, so we need two, technically we need four. So we actually need four pots, four pans. Well hang on, I was making 20 of these anyway, wasn't I? Now, just let me take the two steel and throw them in here. Uh, where was I making them? Oh, just here. Okay, so we should be able to do that then. Let's have a look. Uh, pots and pans. So, a pan. No, we don't want to do that. We want to just craft one, two, two, three, four. Right, and then we want to swap over to the pot. Oh no, it uses three, doesn't it? Oh, okay. So craft a pot. Oh no, that's that's correct. That's correct. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking then. I already had it in my head that it was two and three. Okay, so I want the pots on this side. Pots, the pots, the pots. So one pot, two pots, three pots, four pots, and then over here the pans. I remember doing this on another game, and I just I didn't have enough iron to do this. It was just not not working. But that that's so quick. So let me just test this. If I have um, a couple of clay bowls, uh, it's onions, isn't? Oh, look at that. I just have a look at the first one. <laughs> Don't have an awful lot of onions in there, Trev. Yeah, they're over here. I think I only need two. Alright, so, let me drink, fill that up. And now if I look at here, and I put 
the water in. I think it uses everything, doesn't it? It uses all 200. And then... Um, oh, I don't have coal. Oh, that's another thing I should do. Make a chest in there for coal. Actually, I'll take two with me. Then we can fill up both, even if we're only going to use one. Uh, we will use this a little bit later. It's a little bit hard to see that, actually. Just there. So we are going to cook this up. So you can see that's already started. And then if we did a second one, we come back in here, fill that with 200 water, and put the onion in. So as you can see, they're both kind of working. You can see the steam coming up both. Actually, we could make another couple. I already had the two bowls there, Trev. Oh no, you'd use that when you finish, don't you? That's right. Hang on, I'm losing the plot. 200 water and an onion for you. And then we'll do it again. You can see why you want to have them fairly close by. And then when they're finished, they'll jump up a bit in height. You can kind of see the level of the water. It doesn't take too long. We should see... Is it this first bottom right one we did first? There you go. See it jump up? So I can grab that now. And there it is. Onion soup. So it doesn't have a long... Oh, no, it doesn't have any perish time. Does it? Oh, yes, it does. Spoils in 3.59. Okay. So my my water is currently 94 out of 100. I don't really need it right now. But that little blue dot on the circle to the right is showing that I, I haven't really increased my level very much. If I eat this, see how it's working its way around? So it's like every time I have four of these... Um, one more to go... Um, I'll end up with another increase in my um, water. So it's the one thing that we haven't done a lot of. Um, I was going to make another chest to put these in. If you know what I mean. But then, you know, it does have a bit of a perish time, so you've got to remember to come back and, and... I mean, you could just drink them all if you wanted to. There's no um, issue with that. Um... I going to say, I can't really put the fire out with no water. Alright, well, it all works, which is really cool. So what have we done? Today we've got our water house up and running, we've got the sink working, we've got our two stoves and all our frying pans and pots and that working. Off camera, I guess I could add a few more chests in here and sort things out a little bit better. Um, we had another blizzard going on. It's minus 34, Trev. Oh, fine, I'll go back in the house then. How are we off for... Uh, yeah. Hang on, this is the third blizzard. I didn't know... I thought we only had two blizzards per winter. I'm pretty certain I had one before now. Anyway. Alright, do we just keep going? Probably... Oh, I can H that. I'll take the 74 out of there. H that. Am I too heavy? Oh, Lucky Trev. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's another 20 ingots coming. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, if we go to put down a fridge, by the way... Placeables, others... No, it'll be under furniture, won't it? Kitchen. Oh, okay. Another 25 ingots for a fridge as well. Alright, so I guess... Uh, I'm going to need another control panel, I think. Uh, yeah, because... The sink works automatically. There's no plumbing needed. The stove just burns coal, but the fridge, yeah, okay, we're going to have to add another little bit of power over there at the town hall and put some fridges in, I think, but anyway, we might end up having to do that next episode by the looks, uh, I might have to leave this episode here, um, but that's what I'm going to use these ingots for, I'm going to use those to help make the fridge, 
or fridges. So I might end up having a few of them eventually. I think in one of my other games I went nuts and had one fridge for every food type or something. So I think I ended up with like a dozen or something. It was quite nuts. But I think that was the season one where I had... Um, might have been a hundred wind turbines or something. It was quite nuts. But um, I didn't have any problems with power, put it that way. <laughs> Jeez. Bit of an overkill, to say the least. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will have to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then you can go ahead and help and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright, everyone. Thanks so much. Cheers.